the right-wing provocateurs' antics, including attacks on Martin Luther King Jr., Black Pilots, and Taylor Swift, have caused a rift in Trump world. I love that headline. It sounds so random. Is that when MLK was alive, his approval rating was rather low, right near 30. So his contemporaries did not think very highly of him. In fact, even in the decades that followed, it was a big lift to get uh, to become a federal holiday. Only something fake and fictitious could get a 96% approval rating. And it turns out that what we think of as MLK is largely a fable. Charlie Kirk referring to MLK as fake and fictitious. Well, to be more precise, he's referring to the legacy of MLK as we think of it today and how it seems to him that it can't possibly be that this deification reflects the man himself. They're talking about the foibles of Martin Luther King in ways that he wasn't quite as perfect. Ironically, a few years ago, Charlie Kirk was doing the same thing as other conservatives in trying to kind of claim MLK's legacy for Republicans, like MLK supported Republicans. I don't think MLK would support Republicans. He was certainly a man of the left, and you know you can maybe understand that in the context of history, that if you feel you're being discriminated against in segregation, then you're not really going to be a conservative. So why don't we as conservatives just like accept that Martin Luther King would not have supported BLM Inc. and the violent tactics they have used to burn down our cities, Kirk wrote on Twitter in 2020. Democrats should stop invoking his legacy until they condemn their arson rioting and violence. So basically Kirk is trying to appropriate the legacy of Martin Luther King for people who disliked the BLM riots. And I'm just not sure that the political divide would break exactly in that way. And apparently Kirk has abandoned that narrative anyway. Conservative activist Charlie Kirk helped oust Ronna McDaniel at the RNC. Now the knives are out for him. The right-wing provocateur's antics, including attacks on Martin Luther King Jr., Black Pilots, and Taylor Swift, have caused a rift in Trump world. For more than a year, Charlie Kirk, the conservative activist and MAGA influencer, was aimed like a heat-seeking missile toward one goal, ousting Republican National Committee Chairman Ronna McDaniel. And the article goes on to suggest that McDaniel is part of this group pushing back on Kirk, telling Trump and his allies that this guy is too controversial and he's going to alienate black voters. The one problem is that there aren't any black voters to alienate who vote Republican. There's 8%. So that's, uh, don't put that on Charlie Kirk. That's just like the way it is. Few Republican groups have had as meteoric a rise as Kirk's Turning Point USA, which launched in 2012. It sought to activate young conservatives and saw its fortunes grow as it attached itself to the Trump movement in 2016. The organization has raised roughly a quarter billion dollars since. Ronna McDaniel at the RNC feels like she's in competition with Turning Points for donations. My take is that I'm skeptical about how Turning Points use its money, and I'm also skeptical about how the RNC uses its money. They both seem a little off base, in my opinion, in terms of, you know, putting money to candidates who are kind of losers and just not really aligned with what voters want. So they're both suspect, in my opinion. Here's the bottom line. There's a lot of hypocrisy on the subject of DEI. There's a lot of hypocrisy in conservatives' use of the legacy of MLK. I know that liberals hate it, but I'm starting to hate it too because, you know, MLK did a lot, obviously, for civil rights, but he's not like a conservative figure, and he never was. And I'm not sure that he was even against, you know, DEI, as we call it today. So, you know, leave MLK's legacy as it is and let him be an icon for the left and just an icon for civil rights, but stop trying to draw him into conservative arguments against liberals. It's just stupid. And Charlie Kirk has made that point, and now he's getting a lot of blowback. So it's it's just interesting, like, is is the Republican conservative movement allowed to 
like engage with reality or do we just have to keep repeating these mindless platitudes? It's a good question. My name is Michael McCara. Thank you so much for watching. Check me out on Twitter. My handle is in the description and like this video and most importantly, follow me right here on YouTube. I've only heard what love can